What's up guys and welcome back to another YouTube video right onto my YouTube channel CMAS Tutorials is back. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to basically increase your FPS, increase your performance in Battlefield 1. So keep in mind to watch this video till the end and I will really, it will help you a ton with that. Before we start right to the video, I just want you to let you guys know that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just click on the subscribe button. It will help you, help me a ton out less a little YouTuber as I am. So without further ado, do that. <laughs> it will really mean the world to me. And without further ado, let's start right into the video. So the first thing I want you to do is gonna be really simple. I want you to uh, go to your NVIDIA scroll, and if you're using NVIDIA, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna right click onto your monitor. You're gonna go to NVIDIA control panel. For me, it's NVIDIA control panel. Wait till it pops up. Exactly. And as you can see, I'm going to adjust um, image settings with preview. So um, you're gonna see this little tab. And what I want you to do here is really simple. I'm using let the uh, 3D application decide, but if you want to go full on on performance mode, you need to go use my preference emphasizing. And now you can ch take this bar and just drag it where you want it. So, I could uh, say you're gonna go to the middle with that because it's like in the middle of quality and performance. But if you want only performance, only FPS, go to performance, it will help you a ton, like 300%. And yeah, guys, next thing you wanna do is gonna be to go to change resolution as display. And yeah, guys, if you really want to increase your FPS, you need to uh, turn down your, like your um, resolution a little bit. So. For example, if you're natively using one, uh, 1920 by 1080, you can go down to 1768 to 992, and uh, this will help you a ton in general. So once you're finished with that, I want you to simply close the NVIDIA control panel or your graphics core control panel. And next thing I want you to do is gonna be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're gonna click onto your Windows settings or simply click your Windows key on your keyboard. Uh, now I want you to hit settings. Uh, once you hit settings, I want you to go to system, so the first thing. And now you stay, uh, you're stay. you gonna stick to display. And now the first thing I want you to do is gonna be to um, check which your main monitor is if you have more than one. So for me, I have one and two. And on this monitor, I'm playing my game. So monitor one is my main monitor. If you have one, it doesn't really matter. So uh, go back or go down, go to scale and layout. I want you to change the size of tech steps and other items to 100% is recommended. And the display resolution, guys, if you just changed it on the NVIDIA control panel, on the graphics card control panel, you also need to change this right here and then change it also in game to the resolution you changed it. Cause everything should be in line, everything, sh everything should be the same resolution. This won't cause any trouble. So um, next thing I want you to do is gonna be to go to power and sleep. Once you're the power and sleep, here you can't really do anything besides going to the right hand side, clicking on additional power settings. This tab will pop up. And now I want you to click this little check mark. This will open up four additional power plants. And now it's, it's depending on your PC basically. You just need to check which setting is working the best on your PC. So for me it's balanced as recommended, but sometimes on other PCs I had and my friends of mine had and my viewers had, um, High performance could uh, work or a quick CPU scheme could work. Uh, you need to check it for yourself. Sometimes uh, also recommended is the best one and it won't uh, change anything, but you need to try it. So once you're finished with that, you're gonna close this one, go to storage. So once down, go to the blueprint the text where it says configure storage sensor run it now. And now you basically need to uh, copy my settings. So check it, turn it on. Next thing is gonna be uh, go to run storage sense where you're gonna click onto every week Check delete temporary files that my apps aren't using Delete files in my recycle bin if they haven't been there for over 14 days for me and Delete files in my downloads folder if you haven't been open for more than 60 days I would say uh, just to be on the safe side and afterwards I'm gonna click on clean now I won't do that because it will take a lot of time and I don't want to do that in this tutorial So click on clean now for you uh, go back once go back twice and now I want you to basically go to gaming. What you're gonna do at gaming is really simple. I want you to turn off your uh, Xbox game bar. Some PCs or some guys tell you to turn, this off, uh, to turn this on. I really can't recommend turning this on, especially on low end PCs. It will just run in the background. It will suck a lot of performance and you don't want it. 
basically the thing is to do is you're going to decrease your um yeah your things running in the background because your pc need to focus or needs to focus on your main game so you're going to turn this off and captures go to captures this will take quite a while uh you're going to go to background recording go to record in the background while i'm playing a game and obviously turn this off because guys you don't want to record something especially in low end pc it won't work it will just cause a lot of trouble with that so just turn this off and uh, next thing also recorded audio turn this off who who wants recorded audio so just go to game mode and now again some guys tell you to turn this on some guys tell you to turn this off i won't tell you anything of those two i will tell you you need to check it for yourself because it's your pc every pc is different and you need to check it turn this on check it turn this off check it which one is working better go this way and yeah guys if you're finished with that i want you to end the settings you're gonna take your um launcher which uh for me it's steam you're gonna right click it you're gonna go to, down to priority uh, to properties you're gonna click on that what i want you to do here is really simple you're gonna click on the compatibility and now i want you to uh just copy my settings so enable run this program in compatibility mode 4 select the latest windows version for me it's windows 8 Next thing, disable reduce color mode, disable run this in 640 by 480 screen resolution, disable disable full screen optimizations, enable run this program as an add-on disable register, register this program for restart. Uh, you know, click on apply and okay, and afterwards you need to restart your PC to see this little add-on symbol right onto your launcher, and now you need to launch your game over the launcher, which is uh, starting with admin mode, and you could can do the same thing to your game in-game shortcut. I don't have it uh, right on my uh, desktop, but just do the same thing. So right-click properties, Compatibility, copy the settings. We'll do the same thing. Uh, next thing I want you to do is going to be to go down to your uh, taskbar, or if, it, if perhaps you have it on the top or at the side, but it's on the down. So, uh, down, right click, task manager. Once this one pops up, I want you to go to details. So, left hand uh, side on the top. I click on the details. So, my game isn't running right now, but it doesn't really matter. Just do the same thing which I'm doing to Creative Cloud to your game which is running and also your launcher. So you're gonna right click, you're gonna hit set priority, and now you need to check it uh, to yourself. Watch, which one is currently working better on which PC? So uh, for me, it's either high or above normal. And what you're doing with that is basically set the priority of your PC going right into your game. So everything your PC has will go into this game and this will increase your FPS a lot. So just trust me guys and do that. Uh, afterwards, once you're finished with that, go to startup, and now again, you don't want any program which you don't want to start with your PC to start. So you just need to disable every single program you don't want to start when you're starting your PC. So basically, as you can see, I've disabled nearly anything or everything. Um, you just need to go right click and disable, especially nothing related to, win to Windows. And yeah, go back to processes. So uh, left hand side, top corner. Uh, processes what I want you to do here is really simple click on the GPU and now I want you to end every single task which is not Windows related uh, and not related to the way to the game to just end the task because if it's having too much GPU usage why you want to have it in the background it just sucks performance so right click it click on the end task and this should be it so once you're finished with that you can basically uh, close this tab what I want you to do, the last thing you can do is basically uh, go to your Windows settings, go to your um, graphics card, driver, software, and download the latest version of every single driver you could possibly find on your PC because it's some perform some percentage and this will help you a lot with PC. I don't, I don't know, like if you're having normally 200 FPS or like 60 FPS and uh, downloading your latest uh, driver will uh, increase 10 F uh, 10%, so it's 6 FPS, that's a lot. So just download the um, latest version of your driver and this will help you a lot of every kind of issue you're currently having. So yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could really help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It will really help me out. And yeah guys, if you have any kind of question, feel free to ask in the comment section, type in your comment. I will try to my best to answer every, every one of that. And yeah guys, that's it for the video. Have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.